Okay, please state the name of the police department and tell me what happened. Alaska State Troopers in Fairbanks, Alaska. Okay, and, and um, what did they do? Um, basically, um, they had questioned, um, they had questioned my friend about a, a situation, um, and basically he was supposed to be on third party. And so he was on his way to work, and once he got to work, the police were already there. And so they questioned him, being the fact that um, somebody else had dropped him off at work. Mm -hmm. And so he came straight from one third party straight to the other, but somebody else had dropped him off at work, and so they were questioning him about that because it wasn't in this, and it wasn't written exactly in the statement, but the judge had stated um, that somebody else could drop him off at work. He had a 30-minute leeway. And so... Um, Basically, when we had arrived at his work, the police were already there because they had to question him for that. And so he had gotten out of the vehicle, and they were discussing that for about five or ten minutes. And I had witnessed the whole thing. Um, there were two officers there, and so um, the officer kept saying, well, you know, it says right here you have to be with one or two third parties. And so um, he was like, if I'm wrong, you know, just let me know I'm wrong. And, and we were reading the same, you know, the same um Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. What is this third party thing? I'm not. I don't understand what you mean. He has some sort of a okay. court, court. He has a court issue or some sort of an order he's got to uh, abide by. Yeah. Um. He he was he had set bail, but actually they made him set bail plus make a third party. Mm -hmm. And so he had two third parties. One was his one was his mother. Mm -hmm. He had to be with except for when he was at work. So okay, oh, I see what you mean. So he has to be with somebody until he gets to work. Yeah. Okay, and, and so, that um, and uh, hold on, so hold on, so someone drops him off. He's at work. The police are there. Now your complaint says that it was a physical assault. How did that happen? Um, well, they were discussing the whole situation because um, in the in the court, the judge said that somebody could drop him off at work, but the cop was arguing because. He said it doesn't state that in, in the documents, um, you know, releasing him on third party. Uh -huh. And so they were discussing that. And in discussing that, um, you know, the officer was like, well, it doesn't say that here. So could you please, you know, if I'm wrong, just tell me because we're reading the same thing. And so, you know, my friend was explaining to him, you know, well, this is this is what he said. And it says in here that there's a 30-minute gap. So they were discussing that. And so the, the, basically they're doing that for like five or ten minutes. And then finally... You know, my friend was like, well, what's going to happen? Because, you know, we're not getting nowhere just, you know, talking about this. So he's like, what's going to happen? He's like, well, you're going to be under arrest. And then so he's like, but I didn't do anything wrong. And so he was like, well, you're not with one or, third part, one or two third, par um, third parties. And so he's like, but I didn't do anything wrong. I'm here at work where I'm supposed to be. I'm here on time at work where I'm supposed to be. And so he's like, well, you know, you're not with one or two third parties. You're going to be under arrest. And they kept going back and forth like that. So my friend had started walking backwards, and he put his hands up, and he started shaking them back and forth. And he well, was like, well, hold on. You can, you, you, can, you, you can say his name. It's Mr. Snowden. So they, they I got that part. So they were, uh, t he was basically disputing their reasoning for trying to take him into custody. Yeah. Okay. He felt that he hadn't violated any court orders and that he should be allowed to just go in and go to work? Yeah. Okay. And the police told him that they weren't going to let him go. Yeah. Okay. Now, somewhere in this encounter, he gets tasered? Yes. Um, while he's walking backwards, saying, I, I don't know why I'm getting under arrest. I didn't do anything wrong. While he's walking backwards, he just continues walking backwards. And he's like, I didn't do anything wrong. And then so they take the taser guns out. And they're like, um, they're yelling something. I'm, I'm like kind of at a distance. And um, so what, what happened was, as they, they tasered him in the right ear, it, it got on the side of his head, and one of the prongs were in his right ear, and so... Um, they tasered him in his face, hold on, hold on, hold on, they tasered him and the taser stuck in his face, in his, on his, in his ear? Yes. And when they tasered him, was he doing anything in, to resist, was he trying to run away, was he, what was he doing, what position was he in?